It's time for Mainland Regional Football on Cape Atlantic. It's a South Jersey Group 4 semifinal as the second seeded Mustangs host the number three Colts Neck Cougars. A spot in the sectional finals is on the line. Let's head out to Linwood at the Mustang Corral for the action. With the play-by-play, -play, here's Nick Costco. Live here from the Mustang Corral in Linwood, New Jersey, it's the sectional semifinals here in South Jersey Group 4 as the Colts Neck Cougars take on the mainland of Mustangs. Hello everyone, Nick Costco with you here on the call. Matt Omer is producing and filming tonight's broadcast as a spot in the sectional finals is on the line this evening. The 10-0 mainland Mustangs looking to keep the undefeated season going while Colts Neck, the three seed, looking to pull off an upset here and get to the sectional finals. Winner takes on Millville or Shawnee. They also play tonight. Both teams coming off big quarter final wins. But now, all bets are off as the captains meet at midfield. Mainland coming off the 56 to 20 win over Manalapin in the quarterfinals just last week. And of course, are your defending sectional champions winning the Central Jersey bracket in 2022, falling just short to the eventual state champion Millville in the state semifinals. Could be an anticipated rematch next week should they both win. They're both the favorites in terms of the seeding Colts neck though, looking to come on the road and stun South Jersey. Colts Neck head coach Matt Ahern in his sixth season, six and three this year, 35 and 24 his career. Made it to the quarterfinals last year in Central Jersey Group 4, so these two teams almost crossed paths last year. But it was a 16 to eight loss for Colts Neck to Winslow. So Mainland has won the toss and they will elect to defer. It'll be Colts Neck with the football first. Colts Neck's offense run by Chris Scully, the senior running back, all time leading rusher in school history. We'll get to see him first. Get a chance to see the suffocating Mainland Mustang defense first. Of course, Mainland in their Traditional all green uniforms with the white helmets. And Colts Neck, Colts Neck in the all whites with the silver helmets. Chilly night here in Linwood. The sun sets. What could be the final home game of the year for the mainland. And a historic 2023 season will break for the national anthem.
Getting set for kickoff as the Cougars will get the ball first. Mainland on defense first. Please, you're with us here this evening on Cape Atlantic Live. Following Mainland for pretty much all season long, undefeated here in 2023. One of the better years in school history. Let's see if they can keep it going well into November. It'll be Nate Cashy to kick things away for the Mustangs. Him and Cohen. Coming out for Colts tonight is the senior quarterback, Dom Beninato. Got nine touchdowns and three picks on the season. Three touchdowns on the ground, 785 yards through the air. But of course, the one that's highlighted down there is starting running back Chris Scully. You'll see him to Beninato's right. Almost 1,600 yards on the ground this season on first and 10. It's Beninato. He is going to get a play fake. He'll dump one off. That ball is juggled, and it is incomplete. Looking for Jack Lefkowitz. It'll be second and 10. So Colts neck already trying to catch the mainland defense. Off balance. Didn't work out there. On second and 10 now, Beninato will give it off to Scully. Breaks one tackle, going off to the right side. Breaks another one, and he's finally brought down. Close to the marker, looks to have enough for a Colts neck first down. There's Chris Scully. He's going to get his yards, and they will rule that a first down. They're going to move the chains. It, well, so it appears. Near side judge says first down, and it will be a first down. Ball up at the 37-yard line. As I mentioned, coming into tonight, Chris Scully with 1,567 yards on the ground, 24 touchdowns. He's the school's all-time leading rusher. On first and 10, it's Don Beninato. Almost a missed handle of the exchange there as Scully doesn't get much. Got maybe a yard on the play. Already some extracurriculars going, down, going on down there. This one promises to be a physical game. Second and nine coming up for the Cougars. And coming into the evening, Scully broke the school record. He has 3,681 yards in his career. The old record, 34-36. Supposed to show you that he can keep adding to his tally. Second and nine, Beninato will give it off to Scully. Off left tackle, he's dragged down from behind. Short gain on the play, not much. Third down coming up, coming up. Zach Hodges on the tackle. The all important third and seven for Colts Neck on this opening drive of the ball game. Student section out in full force now for the Mustangs here at the Corral. Again, a spot in the sectional finals on the line tonight. Winner takes on Millville or Shawnee. On third and seven, it's Beninato. Takes it, rolling to his right now. Looking downfield, will cut once, trying to avoid the rush. Beninato is going to be brought down and sacked. It'll be fourth down. Dan DeFeo. That's a loss of four, and the Cougars will be forced to punt it away. Here comes Aiden Manasso on to punt it away. Steven Ordilly, the team's leading rusher, back to return this punt for the Mustangs. He's standing at his own 33-yard line. Snap to Manasso, got the punt away. It's a line drive kick. Ordilly's going to rule or call for a fair catch. He's going to let this one roll. It takes a Colts neck bounce inside the 20-yard line, so a nicely placed punt by Manasso, and here comes... The Mustangs offense, led of course by sophomore quarterback John Franchini. 
in this run heavy attack out of the wing tee. Franchini having a pretty good sophomore campaign. 980 yards through the air, 13 touchdowns, just two interceptions. But we know this offense goes through the run game, led by Stephen Ordilly, the senior. Over 1,000 yards, his name, 20 touchdowns this year. It'll be first and 10 from the 19-yard line. Franchini will give it off. This is going to be Cohen Cook. Makes one man miss, and he'll be brought down. Across 20-yard line, but a face mask penalty incoming. Ethan Matthew, the guilty party there, he does not like the call, but that hand got into the face mask of Cohen Cook. Fishery ruled that face mask, so that is going to be an automatic first down for the Mustangs. So one play, one penalty, and already moving the sticks. Please, you're with us this evening on Cape Atlantic Live, opening minutes of this first quarter. Mainland forced a punt on the opening drive. Now they have the ball. Nearing their own 40-yard line as John Franchini gives off to Rocco DiBiasso. Has a lay. Rocco DiBiasso through the hole. He's off and running. He could go. DiBiasso, touchdown, Mainland. 63 yards. Mustang strike first. Didn't take long. Mainland, it can beat you with many different backs out of that backfield. This time it's Rocco DiBiasso. Sixty-three yards, and now Nate Cashy for the extra point. Line drive kick is good. Seven nothing. Mainland right off the bat. So a 7-0 lead for the Mustangs, 8-22 to play in this first quarter. How does Colts Neck respond? They got jammed a little bit trying to open things up through the air, but Chris Scully on his one carry, on, well, on his first carry, I should say, did get a 10-yard gain for a first down. So we'll see if the Cougars try to counter with their own rushing attack. First and 10 from the 22-yard line. Beninato will go under center this time. Early movement, and we're going to have flags, and the indication is it is on Colts neck, but everyone's going to be pointing at each other. Mm, this might be a encroachment penalty. It will be, so Mainland gets tagged for their first foul of the ball game. It'll be first and five now. Well, first and five from the 27-yard line. Beninato will go back to the under center. Trying to run the hard count here. Beninato takes it. Hand off. Scully up the middle, just lowering the shoulder, trying to get forward. Gets a decent amount. We'll call that maybe three, maybe four. He's close, but it'll be second and short. Hunter Watson with the tackle for Mainland. And they're going to give Scully forward progress for a gain of four, second and one. Beninato from the shotgun this time. Gives it off. Scully trying to bounce, but he's hit right at the line of scrimmage, and he might have lost a yard on the play. Mainland's defense stifling him there. Third down. This is how Mainland gets on top of you early. They strike fast and they force a lot of punts early on. They'll let the, op the opposing offense get into any sort of rhythm. Let's see if they can do it once more or Colts can actually get the chains moving. Scully is in the backfield. 
Be a direct snap to him. Scully trying to go off right tackle, trying to push the pile, and he is going to have enough for a Colts neck first down. Little wildcat action, no pun intended, of course, with the Cougars, but Scully going to have to do a lot of the work himself there. Cougars offense just got just enough of a push from that offensive line. Fresh set of downs. It'll be Scully out of the Wildcat again. He'll take it off left tackle this time, running forward. And he stood up after a decent game. It'll be second down. Second and six now for Coltsneck. Khalib Foster is going to check in actually now for Mainland. Andrew Tartaglia coming off. We've seen Foster get a little more playing time in recent weeks. The junior defensive back. He'll go to the far side. Two receivers to the nearest side for Beninato. He's going to give it off to Scully, though. Scully trying to bounce off to the right side, just lowering the shoulder. And he doesn't get much, maybe a yard, as Mainland able to just gang tackle constantly. And, of course, led by linebacker J.J. Sinclair, among others. They are swarming to the football right now. Third and five. Ball at the 38. Colts next trying to get trying to sustain a drive right now. More than halfway through this first quarter. They trail 7-0. Ben and from the shotgun. Takes it, dropping straight back, trying to set up a screen. It's Scully down the right sideline, leaps forward, and he's gonna get enough for a first down. Chris Scully making things happen. The ever methodical drive right now continues. Of course, it is playoff time, so we will update you on some other scores that are of, of interest. On first and ten, it's Beninato. Play fake. He's going to take off and run himself. Beninato has a crease, breaks one tackle. Beninato still going across 35-yard. Lento, he's finally brought down a huge gain for the senior quarterback. The read option for the first time this evening. And that time, Beninato gets Colts neck into mainland territory. Ball at the Mustang 33-yard line. As I mentioned before, we will update you when we can on the Millville-Shawnee game. That is the other sectional semifinal in this bracket. Winner of that game plays the winner of this one tonight. First and 10 for Colts Neck. They're on the move. Officially second and six. Here's Beninato. And off Scully again, breaking a tackle, getting stood up. That's Ordilly and then a bunch of other mainland hats. A flag comes down from the near side of the field late. Right now, Scully is short of the first down, but we have to wait and see on the yellow laundry. It appears it's going to be on Colts neck. It's in the indication of holding, but we'll see. And it is, so that will wipe out a decent game from the senior running back. And instead of third and short, it's going to be second down once again, second and long. Be second and 12 from the 24 yard line. Here's Beninato from the shotgun. Takes it. Hand off to Scully. He'll be tracked by JJ Sinclair, and others will assist. Short gain, it'll be third and long.
Third and 10 now. Over two minutes to go. Way. Goodbye. Touchdown. Mainland. Jamie Tyson, the pick six. No way you catch him. For Jamie Tyson, that is his eighth interception and third defensive touchdown this year. Quick math tells me that's over 80 yards. And there was nobody within 30 yards of him. Nate Cashy for the extra point. High snap, Cashy kicks it, and it is good. 14-0 is your score now with less than a minute to go here in this first quarter. Mainland rolling early as now Colts Neck has to dig out of a bit of a hole. Cashy will kick it away. 14-0 mainland late here in this first quarter. Matthew trying to get some of that back around the, around the right sideline. Trying to keep the pile moving. Gets across the 35-yard line. Good effort. First and 10. For Colts Neck from the 35 yard line. Beninato from the shotgun. And we're going to get an early movement. Flags come out. That'll be a false start on the Cougars. Back about five yards. First and 15 now, back at the 30-yard line. Beninato, two receivers up top, sends Scully in motion now. He'll fake it, quarterback draw here, and Beninato does not get much. DeFeo and DiBiasso, among others, in there on the stop. He might have gotten one yard on the play. 30 seconds and counting, go in this first quarter. Second and long. Beninato comes down the shotgun. Left quits is to his left, Scully in the backfield. It'll be Scully with the handoff getting forward. Doesn't get much. Mainland defense all over him right now. 14-0 after that Ethan Shock tackle. It'll be third down and long coming up in the second quarter. 14-0 Mainland after the first quarter here in the South Jersey Group 4 sectional semifinals on Cape Atlantic Live.
Second quarter time here at the Mustang Corral in Linwood. Nick Costco on the call with you. Here on Cape Atlantic Live, third and 11 for Colts Neck now to open up the quarter. Beninato from the shotgun. That's Matthew in motion. Beninato dropping back, looking, stepping up. He's going to be wrapped up and sacked. Fourth down. Dan DeFeo again. He has been a menace so far. Another punt coming on for Colts Neck. Not sort of punt it away. High snap, gets it, and he'll punt it cleanly. It's a good one. Or Dilly has to go track it. Fair catch and a good one there. And now, a little extracurriculars, and Mainland wanted a penalty. Little, uh, <laughs> little face shove there from Matthew. So Mainland will set up shop with good field position on this next drive, trying to make it a three-score game. First and ten for the Mustangs. Franchini comes out in the shotgun. In motion goes Cohen Cook. He'll get the carry. He's looking to throw. Cook going downfield for Jamie Tyson, and he overshot him. Boy, he had a chance. The mainland opening up the bag of tricks. Boy, that would have been highlight real worthy for Cohen Cook. Kid's got an arm. Already has 11 total touchdowns on the season. Almost added a passing touchdown. On second and 10 now from the 37 yard line. Mainland on top. 14 up in Franchini goes under center. And the handoff goes to Rocco DiBiasso, and he just tripped up across the 45 yard line. We'll see if that's enough for a first down. And it will be. Got enough forward progress on the play. Well, Mainland can methodically move the football as well. Not afraid to take some shots. And now first and 10. On the 47, Franchini will go under center. In motion goes Cook. Handoff, Ordilly up the middle, breaking a tackle, spinning. Gets across the 40-yard line, tackled by Matthew. But it'll be another Mainland first down for the Mustangs' leading rusher. Ethan Matthew, the senior defensive back, able to wrestle him down. Early minutes of this second quarter, as the Mustangs go back into Colts Neck territory. On the 39, Franchini gives it off, or that's DiBiasso across the 35-yard line, good chunk. Gets five. Charlie Whalen on the tackle for Colts Neck. Second and five now from the 39 yard line. Mainland driving. And we're going to get whistles, so hold the phone here. Looks like Ethan Shock had to check out. Perhaps an equipment issue or something. He's getting his hand checked out, looks like, on the sideline. So they'll reset. 
Aiden Grasso checked in for him. Clock is running here, and I think head coach Chuck Smith is about to call a timeout here. He's standing next to the official. He's, he's going to let the clock bleed a little bit here. And there it is. Timeout there for Mainland. That's their first. They have two remaining, so they're going to talk it over. And maybe to give Shock enough time to get back into the football game. I don't see Ethan Shock right now for Mainland. Grasso, he's currently taking snaps with quarterback John Franchini next to the huddle right now. And the indication is that he will come in as the new center, at least for a play. Well, after all that, and it looks like Ethan Schock is going to come back in. So whatever issue he had on that previous play that ended up causing Mainland to call a timeout, I guess has been rectified. 8.31 to play in this second quarter after that delay, and now we have more delays here. The officials are halting play right now. Now they're conferencing with head coach Chuck Smith. Unsure of the issue here right now. And I think the indication right now looks like so Grasso is going to come back in at center. Shock is to check out. It seems the rule is since they did not run a play, Shock cannot come back in because he had to check out. And it has to be for an actual play despite the time out there. So anyway, second and five. Franchini. Little reverse, it's Cohen Cook up the right side. Dragon defenders with him. Cohen Cook is still moving. It's so hard to bring him down. He's got a big first down for Mainland inside the 20 yard line. More red zone action coming up for the Mustangs. Shock will check back in at center. And now, first and 10 from the 11. First and 10 for the Mustangs. Here's Franchini under center. Takes it, handoff or Dilly. Lowering the shoulder and just shy of the end zone. And this will set up. It should be first and goal. Unless he might be just short of the first down marker. The far side judge indicates second and inches. See if Mainland can punch it in now. Franchini, hands off, Cook bouncing, touchdown Mainland, Cohen Cook. And it's a three score lead for the Mustangs here in the second quarter. That's Cook's 10th rushing touchdown of the season. Here's Nate Cashy for the extra point. <laughs> Snap and hold is good. Cashy's kick is perfect. 21-0. Mainland rolling right now in this second quarter. 7.03 to play in the half. Colts neck looking for a desperate response now. Trying to get on the board.
Well, Colts next still searching for their first points of the evening. Please, you're with us here on Cape Atlantic Live. 7.03 to play in this first half. Nick Costco with you here on the call. Spot in the sectional semi, or semi, spot in the sectional finals on the line. Nate Cashy will deliver it. And here is the run up, kicking it to the near side of the field. Ethan Matthew will return it from just inside the 15 yard line, looking for a hole. Turns on the Jets, trying to get cut through a pile. And he'll carry a bunch of defenders with them across the 30 yard line. The ball came out, Mainland has it, but they're going to rule that one dead. Close call. So here comes the Cougar offense. They'll try to respond. In case you're just joining us, Rocco DiBiasso got things going for Mainland with a 63-yard touchdown run. Jamie Tyson at pick six over 80 yards back the other way. And now Cohen Cook just, cap, just punched one in from a yard out to give Mainland this three-score lead. I'm Beninato from the shotgun on first and 10, gives it off to Chris Scully. And he's met immediately at the line by a couple of Mainland defenders. Nowhere to go, maybe a yard, that's it. School's all-time leading rusher has been held mostly in check tonight. Had one run of 10 yards, but that's it. I'll tell you what, Scully is. Plays big for his size at 5'10", 210. I don't know how he's able to reach across for two yards there. Second and eight. Beninato gives it off to Scully again, trying to find a crease up the middle. Still running. Chris Scully first down. Finally tackled by Jamie Tyson, but not before he gets a first down up to the 46 yard line. 40. Let's see where they spot. They do spot at the 46. Halfway through the second quarter, Cougars trying to get on the board. Mainland gets the ball to start the third quarter, so this is an important drive for Colts Neck. Scully, off left tackle, spinning, moving the pile across midfield. Good chunk by the senior back. Second down. Second and five from the 49-yard line. Wildcat option again. Here is Scully trying to follow his blockers and Chris Scully breaks through. Chris Scully, he'll be tracked down by Jamie Tyson. Boy, that was a touchdown saving a tackle. That is the talent of Chris Scully. He can burst through the line. Nearly took that one to the house. Got stopped at the 15-yard line. Gain of 34 on the play for Scully. First and 10 from the 15-yard line. It'll be Scully from the Wildcat again. Takes it up the middle and met immediately by Cohen Cook for the loss. Mustangs read it perfectly there. Lost a three. Well, officially, we got second and 13 from the 18-yard line. Beninato back in there, quarterback. Takes it, play fake, going to his left now. Beninato finding a crease going forward. And he'll be short of the first down. Third and short coming up, but a nice game by the quarterback, Dom Beninato. That was a gain of eight on the play. Third and five. And now we're going to get whistles, and we have an official timeout. Uh, 
He indicated official timeout. Still waiting on what that issue was, but now I got to resume the clock. Third and four from the nine. And another direct snap. This is going to be Scully going to the left side. Cuts, moving forward, and, and depending upon the spot, far side judge might have him just shy. And it looks like they will be fourth down. Well, the all-important fourth down play here for Colts Neck. Let's see if the Cougars can punch it in. Fourth and two now. Two and a half to go in the half. Ball to seven. Colts Neck is taking their time. They may run this clock then again. Mainland gets the ball. This is the third quarter. There's a timeout. That'll be Colts Neck's first. They have two left. Remember, Mainland gets the ball to start the second half. They don't want to give... The Cougars don't want to give the Mustangs an opportunity to score twice here. Take a look at the mainland defensive huddle here. Going over this next call on this all-important fourth down. Mainland can preserve the shutout, at least in this first half, or to stop here. Colts next trying to get on the board. It's been a tough night so far for the Cougars. Had a big swing on their one drive. They were trailing 7-0, but they were driving. That's when Don Ben and I was picked off by Jamie Tyson for an 80-yard pick six. We're out of the timeout now. Fourth and two from the seven as Colts Neck are just coming off a 41-0 win over Tom's River South in the quarterfinals. Looking to upset the Mustangs. Don Beninato will go under center here. On fourth down, early movement. Main lane might have jumped. It will be encroachment, and that is an automatic first down. First and goal for the Cougars. Boy, that's a costly penalty. So they go half the distance to the goal. First and goal now from the three-yard line. Beninato under center. Waiting, takes it, handoff, Scully walks in. Touchdown, Colts Neck. That's Scully's 25th touchdown of the season. And just like that, Colts Neck answers late in this first half. We'll see what the Mustangs can do in response. Manasso's extra point is curving and good. Colts Neck on the board, 21-7 is your score with 2.13 to play in the first half. Dahlia Pandafar, Monica Tatarov, Allie Toner, and Julia Moore. Well, after the Colts Neck touchdown, and 
And it is 21 7. Now Manasso to kick it away. Mainland. Again, 2 13. Plenty of time for the Mustangs. So let's see if the Colts Knight defense can get their first stop of the evening. Manasso boots it deep. Opportunity for a return. And there's a crease. Here goes Jake Blum getting up to midfield. Boy, they can strike in a hurry. Jake Blum. We haven't seen too many kick returns with the Mustangs this year, especially in the last month or so with their dominating defensive efforts. Really, no team has been able to really score on them. But Blum, a big opportunity there, and he made the most of it. Ball officially spotted at the 48-yard line of Colts Neck. First and 10 now from the 48-yard line. Mainland already in Colts Neck territory after Blum's kick return. The motion goes Cook. Little misdirection. Rocco DiBiasso going back the other way. Almost broke away. Got forward, though. Good chunk. Second down coming up, though. Do have a score update for you. Over in the other semifinal, Millville leads Shawnee 21-0 with a little under six minutes to go in the first half. So the Thunderbolts rolling as well on the flip side of this bracket. Second and four, 90 seconds to go. Mainland has two timeouts remaining. Cook the motion man again. This will be Ordilly up the middle, breaks one, and then he's finally brought down across the 35-yard line. Good tackle there made by Devin Donnelly. Not before he got the first down. Clock still ticking in this first half. Mustangs trying to get one more on the board before halftime. Colts not got a nice methodical drive to cut this down to two scores. Franchini, play fake, looking, going deep. Tyson's open, pitch and catch, touchdown. Too easy, 39 yards out. Seventh touchdown of the year for the Villanova commit. Jamie Tyson makes him pay again. Nate Cashy for the extra point. Three of three tonight. Man, make him four of four. 28 7 mainland. Rolling right now with a minute to go in the first half. Now, will Colts Neck be aggressive on this ensuing drive? It's going to depend upon, of course, the special teams play here. So, so far tonight, Nate Cashy is 4 of 4 on his extra points. If you want to tally that up for the season, he is 54 of 59. One of the more reliable kickers you'll see in South Jersey. He's only kicked one field goal this year, too, by the way. One of one. 33 yards out. Mainland has not had to kick too many field goals this year. They're pretty much rolling. Cashy to boot it deep. See if Coltsnack gets an opportunity. It'll be Ethan Matthew to return from the 10 yard line. Oh, he dropped the football. Has to go back for it, picks it up. He's going to reverse course. Matthew along the goal line now looking for a crease. And he lost the football again. It's loose on the carpet. Who's got Mainland? Looks like they have it. Mustangs fell on the football and they get it right back. James Barrett, the recovery. Oh, a huge turn of events. And the Mustangs can punch one more across before halftime. What a tough break for the Cougars. Matthew tried to make something out of nothing. He dropped the ball twice there that last time, could not recover. James Barrett fell on it. 
Here comes the Mustang offense once again, first and 10 from the 14. Franchini goes under center. Malin has two timeouts to, to play with here. He'll give it off for Ordelia right up the middle, breaking tackles and just tracked down shy of the goal line. Got to about the three. Gain of 11, first and goal. Mayland's going to hurry to the line. Franchini will just spike it. So that stops the clock with 34 seconds to play in this first half as the Mustangs looking to pad the lead. There's a good look at the sophomore quarterback, John Franchini. Does have a touchdown pass tonight, of course, on that last drive. 39 yards to Jamie Tyson. That was his 14th of the year. And now it is second and goal from the three-yard line. After that spike, Franchini dropping, throws left side. Tyson in. Touchdown, Mainland. Those two are making it look easy. That connection's only getting better. Mustangs rolling right now. Tyson, his third total touchdown this evening. One on defense, his second touchdown reception. Nate Cashy again for the extra point. Snap, hold, kick is on the way. It's perfect once more. He's 5 of 5, 35 7. Mainland rolling, 29 seconds to play in the half. If you're Colts neck, Money to try to make something happen, or maybe just play a little bit safe here. Mainland doesn't get the ball to start the third quarter. It was 14-0 going into the second quarter. Mainland has outscored Colts neck 21-7 in this frame. And Jamie Tyson has done a lot of the work tonight. Pick six and two touchdown receptions. And I'll tell you what, Mustangs finding opportunities even now on special teams. Cashy the run-up, he'll boot it, and Ethan Matthews is going to get another chance to return this one. Feels this one cleanly, trying to turn on the Jets. Ethan Matthew through a hole, and he just stumbled. Oh, I'll tell you what, he had a lane. If he didn't get tripped up across the 30-yard line, he might be running for six. Kid's got speed. Ethan Matthew is senior. Just three catches this year for 143 yards. He's a speedster. Two touchdowns. Also has four carries for 85 yards and a touchdown. Six foot 190, and he's got some wheels. See if Colts like opens up the passing game here. 23 seconds, and they're just going to hand it off to Chris Scully. Breaks one tackle, trying to find a lane. Gets across the 35, and it'll be second down, and Colts neck. Does have two timeouts to play with here, but that might do it for the half. I don't see any indication, and it looks like we're going to go into the halftime locker room. And we will. Clock hits all zeros. It's been all mainland. They dominated the second quarter. They'll go into the halftime locker room with a 35-7 lead, and they're 24 minutes away from getting back to the sectional finals. We'll take a break at halftime. Mainland on top of Colts neck. 35-7 at the break here on Cape Atlantic Live. It's time for Mainland Regional Football on Cape Atlantic Live. Tonight, it's a South Jersey Group 4 semifinal as the second-seeded Mustangs host the number three Colts Neck Cougars. A spot in the sectional finals is on the line. Let's head out to Linwood at the Mustang Corral for the action. With the play-by-play, -play, here's Nick Costco. 
It's time. This Cape Atlantic Live production of Mainland Regional Football is brought to you by Charlie's Bar and Restaurant, The Docks Place, Diorio's Bar and Grill, Shore Orthopedic, Golden Nugget Atlantic City Casino Hotel and Marina, Edmonds Gov Tech, Darcy Johnson Day Law Firm, and Omer's Appliance Service.
Welcome back to the Mustang Corral here in Linwood, New Jersey. Mainland on top, 35-7 as we begin the second half. Colts neck to kick it away. Aiden Minasso will boot it deep as the Mustangs look to pad the lead here in the South Jersey Group 4 semifinals. Be Jake Blum to return on the far side of the field, trying to follow his blockers. He'll get across the 25-yard line. And that's pretty much it. And the Mustangs will head back onto the field on offense. They had a wonderful end to the second quarter. And a Jamie Tyson 39-yard touchdown reception from John Francini. And then immediately after that, recover, James Barrett recovered a fumble on the ensuing kickoff, which led to another touchdown pass from Francini over to Tyson to make it 35-7. So the Mustangs really padded it on towards the end of the half. Colts then got back into it. They were down 21-0 until a Chris Scully touchdown got them back into it. But the defense couldn't hold, and of course the costly mistakes have led them to this point, a four-score deficit. First and 10 for John Francini and company on the 27-yard line. Steven Ordilly up the middle. It's up to about the 34-yard line. Good gain on first down, second down coming up. Please, you're with us on Cape Atlantic Live. Nick Costco on the call with you. Early stages of this third quarter. Spot in the sectional finals on the line. Mainland won the Central Jersey bracket in 2022. Fell just short in the Group 4 state semifinals to eventual state champion Millville, who's also in action tonight in their semifinal game against Shawnee. Winners of the of those two games face off next week. Francini on second down, looking to throw. Has DiBiasso out in the flat, trying to get away. Ethan Matthew is there, and the ball came out, but they're going to blow this one dead. And boy, he went after the football. He is not happy about it, but they are going to rule DiBiasso down. He is short of the first down. Millville and Shawnee currently in halftime, by the way. Beg your pardon, that was ruled a first down. Got some additional forward progress. Millville leads Shawnee, by the way, 21-0 at the half. On first and 10, it's Steven Ordilly right up the middle. Has a crease, breaks a tackle, couple moves. Steven Ordilly into the open field. Goodbye. Touchdown, Mainland. From 38 yards, 62 yards. You can only hope to contain him. You cannot stop him. Stephen Ordilly, touchdown number 21 on the season. Nate Cashy for the extra point. On the way, it is good. 42 to seven, Mainland dominating. And now you gotta see what Colts like even just has in the bag now. They're gonna have to pull out all the bag of tricks in order to try to get back into this one. And the Colts neck offense runs through Chris Scully. He hasn't really gotten going tonight. He does have a touchdown, though. But aside from a couple runs, Mainland's been able to contain him. And even in the passing game, Colts neck really has not opened it up. Don Benanow has been able to run the football well tonight on some of those read options. But too far and two in between. Ethan Matthew, far side of the field, will return this kick. Trying to turn the Jets and met immediately. Nowhere to go. Gang tackle. Ball pops out but the play is ruled dead. Stop. 
Well, 10 minutes to go in this third quarter. It is a 35-point lead, so with that, the running clock is in effect, at least for now. Your cold snack. Now you're battling the clock. You try to just get any semblance of getting back into this football game. Beninato will give it off to Chris Scully, bouncing, going forward, and he only got a few. Second down. And we have a timeout. We have an injured Colts neck player down on the field. And he's right back to his feet. That's J.J. Cefeli, one of those big offensive linemen for Colts neck. And he's going to jog off under his own power, so he seems to be all right. A little shaken up, but maybe one of those situations where one play out, and he'll go right back in. So hope he's all right. On second and eight, Beninato. Play fake, rolling to his right, looking, throws downfield, reeled in. Nice catch as Jamie Tyson is there to make the tackle. Aiden Diaz makes his first catch of the ball game. And Ben and I let that one rip. So nice grab by Diaz, the senior wideout. Just his seventh catch of the year. Be third and short now. Eight and a half to play, third quarter. On third and one, Ben and out gives off Scully going to the right side, lunging forward. He's going to get enough. Gang tackle to cross the line to gain. So Coltsnake does get the first down. Do have a stoppage right now. I don't know if I saw a flag come out late. I think there is a flag. So it's a personal foul on Colts neck. Now, trying to see, let's see what they do when they reset the chains here. Looks like that happened during the course of the play, or maybe not. They, they're going to signal first down on the far side of the field. So this was after the fact. So it is first down for Colts next. So that, play ha or that penalty happened after the play, so it's going to back them up. And that's a shame because now they're backed up. Inside their own 30 again. Scully will get the carry on first and 10, and he doesn't get much. He's met by nearly the entire mainland defense. Maybe a gain of, we'll, maybe we'll be generous and give him two. Well, Scully's always good to get forward and get positive yardage. But unfortunately, Colts neck, for them at least, have not been able to really wear down the Mustang def defense. Beninato, play fake, being pressured, sacked by Rocco DiBiasso. He flew into the backfield. Third and long. Third and 15 from the 17 yard line. Colts neck. At a certain point, gotta wonder when they're gonna, just gonna keep going for it on fourth down here. Beninato dropping back, pressure coming, dumps one, and it is incomplete. Looking for Scully on the screen pass there, but it's pretty much blown up. Hunter Watson on the pressure. It's fourth down, and the punting unit does come out. It is way too long. They're backed up, so they're gonna play it a little bit safer here and try to at least play the field position game. Yeah. 
Manasso to punt it away, gets the snap, and he'll boot it. Ordilly calling for the fair catch, and he makes it at the 45-yard line. Mainland great field position once again. Again, running clock in effect with that 35-point lead. Now we have a flag down the field late. We'll have to check on this now. Still waiting on the call here. And it looks like it is a, I say it's a personal foul on mainland. What was a 15 yarder that's going to back them up to their own 40 yard line. But it'll remain Mustang ball. Second half warm-ups getting underway between Millville and Shawnee. We'll update you on that one as soon as we can. Franchini on first and ten gives off for Dilly, and he'll get wrestled down after about a three-yard gain on the play. No, don't let the score throw you off. Colts Neck has been a solid program under Matt Ahern. He was in his sixth season with the Cougars. Six and three this year. 35 and 20 for his career. Multiple playoff appearances. They'll be back. John Franchini, a toss at left on second down to DB, excuse me, uh, Stephen Ordilly. Getting down the left sideline. Still moving, man. He just keeps those legs churning. That'll be a first down for Mainland. A little recap for you. Rocco DiBiaso got things going for Mainland. 63-yard touchdown to open up. And then the Jamie Tyson pick six really turned this game on its head. Colts Neck was driving, trailing 7-0. They, they were only on their second possession of the game. Looked like they might be able to punch one in, but Jamie Tyson, the 80-yard pick six, made it 14-0. As this first down play will be a handoff to Cohen Cook to the right side, trying to follow his blockers, tripped up by Beninato. Playing both ways. He's had a tough day at the quarterback position. A lot of pressure in his face, but he makes a nice tackle on the edge. We have a flag down, though, in the backfield. So hold the phone. Looks like Mainland's back. Now this kid in, is in the area of holding, and it is. So that'll back him up. Going back to that recap, Cohen Cook made it a 21-0 lead for Mainland with a one-yard touchdown run. Chris Scully got Colts Neck on the board, making it 21-7 in that second quarter. But then Mainland again took over. 39-yard touchdown reception from Jamie Tyson off the nice throw from John Franchini. And then following a fumble recovery on the ensuing kickoff, Tyson reeled in another pass from Franchini for a touchdown to go up 35-7 right before the half. So since that pick six, it's been all mainland. First and 20. And the handoff to Ardilly up the middle. He needs to be tackled by about five, six guys here. It'll be second down. Well, as it stands right now, Mainland would head to Millville next week for the South Jersey Group 4 sectional title. Second and 14 into Colts Neck territory on the 48. Franchini, a little reverse. DiBiasso trying to get to the left side, breaking a tackle, carrying guys with them short of the first down, but it's a good chunk. It'll be third down and manageable for the Cougars. Third 
Third quarter just began over at Wheaton Field as Millville leads Shawnee 21-0. So like I said, as it stands right now, if everything were to hold, Mainland and Millville, an old, a classic Cape Atlantic matchup, but that'll be for the sectional title and a rematch of last year's state semifinals. Third and four, Franchini gives off Jake Blum, left side, tracked down. I don't know if he's going to get there. And it looks like he is short of the first down marker. Fourth down coming up, but they are on the plus side of the field. No long field goal here. And, of course, there's no punt coming from Chuck Smith and company. This will be four down territory for the Mustangs. Again, with the clock still rolling. Ninety seconds to go, third quarter. On fourth down, Franchini gives off. That's Ordilly moving the pile. He's got more than enough. First down. Talking to head coach Chuck Smith this week. Now he mentioned the goal all year, how I'm not going to use too many coaching cliches, but the goal all year is to get that Millville game back from 2022. How close the Mustangs were to that state championship game just last fall. On first down, Franchini gives off Cohen Cook up the middle, breaks one, and he gets across the 20-yard line close to the marker. It's going to depend upon the spot. And it looks like he's going to be just shy, second and inches coming up. And Coach Smith mentioned how they take it one game at a time and they have to treat every game like its own season. But they know in the back of their mind that the Millville game, the Millville rematch could be a distinct possibility. And with the Thunderbolts rolling on their home turf right now, a date next week at Wheaton Field seems to be the case at this moment. Third quarter comes to a close, 42-7 Mainland dominating Colts Neck this evening. They're 12 minutes away from the sectional finals next week. Take a break here on Cape Atlantic Live. Fourth quarter time here in Linwood. All mainland tonight. And again, they are 12 minutes away from going back to the sectional finals. Mustangs won the sectional championship just last season. Looking to make it two in a row, but they'll have to get through Millville next week in all likelihood. Franchini gives off Cohen Cook right side, trying to break a couple tackles. Breaks free. Cohen Cook on to the end zone for another mainland touchdown. 21 yards out. That's been the type of night. Cohen Cook, his second touchdown of the evening. That's a way to open up the fourth quarter. Nate Cashy for the extra point. Snap, hold, kick is on the way, and perfect. Once more, seven of seven tonight. Boy, he has been so reliable all season long. 56 of 61 extra points this year. He's only a sophomore. Could very well be on pace to break all kinds of kicking records in his career. Yeah. 
Well, scoring update for you, 21 nothing Millville, and I believe they actually just scored again. They did. So the Thunderbolts are rolling, about to go up 28 to nothing in the third quarter over Shawnee. So it appears the defending Group 4 state champions will be getting ready for the Mustangs in just the next week. Kickoff being returned here by Sloan. Ooh, and we're laying the wood down across the 25-yard line. So Ethan Sloan got his first crack at a kickoff return. Didn't go too far, but now the Cougars will send the offense back out onto the field. And, well, looking at that scoreboard right now, these seniors have a little more than 10 minutes to go in their careers. And... Nothing to hang their heads over. They've had quite the career. Got this team to the sexual semifinals, so they got themselves a playoff win this year. We got flags down. Early movement. It's like that penalty was declined. Actually, I beg your pardon, it was not declined. My eyes deceived me. They actually moved that football. First and five. It was on mainland. Toss out left. It's Chris Scully trying to find some room. He'll get the first down across the 40-yard line. And if there's one man who should be quite pleased with his career, it's that kid down there, Chris Scully, the all-time leading rusher in Colts neck history. Pretty much bottled up tonight. Does have the lone Cougars touchdown. He'll be remembered for a long time. First and 10. And we're going to get movement again. Looks like early movement on the Colts next side of things. It's Aiden Manasso, the guilty, the guilty party. Moved that foot up a little bit too early from his tight end position. First and 15 now. And off Scully on first and 15. We'll get it back. We'll get the penalty yardage back. Get across the 45. It'll be second down. Nine minutes to go. Mainland on their way to 11 and 0. Looking to win their second straight sectional title. Beninato, play fake, rolling to his right. Looking, flush, avoids the rush. Going back to the left side is Beninato. Makes another man miss, and he'll finally be brought down near the sticks. Flag comes down. Should be forward progress. We're giving up for a first down, but this looks like it's going to come back. That'll be a chop block, looks like, we're being told. Now will come back. You go back to last season for Mainland. Their route in the playoffs last year, a 63-10 win over Morristown, 34-20 over Long Branch, and then the 34-24 win over Middletown South on the road to win last year's Central Jersey Group 4 title. Penalty yards is going to back him up, so it'll be second and long for Colts Neck. But then that 18 14 loss to Millville in the last year's state semifinals at Cherokee last year. It still looms, but now they'll be able to squarely focus their attention on the Thunderbolts after this evening as Chris Scully just trying to get some of those yards back. Doesn't get much. Got back to the 35 yard line. We have another flag down. In the defensive secondary. 
A lot of frustrations on the Colts' next side. Waiting to see this call. It is on Colts' neck. So, well, that'll back him way up after the personal foul. Second and a country mile. Officially second and 30. First down markers at the 50-yard line. Hand off Scully up the middle, finds a lane, tripped up at the 30. So a gain of 10 for the senior back. And another flag, and we're getting physical, and now altercations are happening. J.J. Sinclair pulled off for mainland, and it looks like there was a bunch of Colts Neck players as well involved in that scrum. Tough to tell from up here, but could not quite tell what set that off in the defensive backfield. But... For the officials might want to get this one under control before it gets out of hand, especially in a running clock situation. This game is almost over. So yeah, on sportsmanlike conduct on Colts neck as well as Mainland. And now the officials are calling head coach Chuck Smith over for a conference. And you can tell there's a lot of frustration going on down there. And coach Smith is irate right now. Seven thirty-nine to play, and now here comes head coach Matt Ahern of Colts Neck. He's going to come out to join this conference, and you got to think this is a big talking to right now to both sides, and now it's getting really heated here. Coach Ahern and Coach Smith join. You don't want this to get ugly. There's been a lot of extracurriculars, and there's been a couple penalties called on Coltec on this drive. We are going to resume action now. They were offsetting penalties after the whistle, so it is fourth down and 20 from the 30-yard line. And now we have more whistles. This will be a timeout on, for, on the Colts' next side of things. Or at least it was indicated. Now, there, now it says it's an official timeout. And boy, there's just a lot going on down there. We have to point out a nice fun fact for this mainland squad who is about to improve to 11 and 0. And now they are, excuse me, now they're going to indicate this is a timeout for mainland. Nope, now it's cold sack. Boy, there's a lot of confusion down there. This is only the third time in school history mainland will sport an 11 and 0 record. The other two times, 1999 and 2008. Of course, that 08 team remembered for its sectional title 15 years ago. Mainly was able to add to that total last year, winning their first sectional crown in 14 years to that point. Well, we are now going to finally resume action on 4th and 20. This will be a punt here from Aiden Manasso. Gets the snap, boots it away, 
And that's going to roll. And Brady Cowan's going to let that one roll out of bounds. Beg your pardon, Tony DeSalle. That is number 25 there. Got to give the young man his credit, the backup quarterback. 6.45 and kind of go in the ball game. And here comes the second offensive group led by Tony DeSalle, who just back to return that punt. He'll bring on the second string group to end things this evening. Six and a half to go. You got to think. Head coach Chuck Smith is telling his crew to just keep it cool here, still play hard-nosed football to the end, but no extracurriculars. Update for you in the third quarter over at Millville. Seven minutes to go. It's 28-7. Thunderbolts on top of Shawnee, so the Renegades did get on the board. But I'm sure there's going to be a lot of scoreboard watching for the Mustang faithful before the night is over. Tony DeSalle. Will hand it off. Only a couple yards. That's Carfagno, his first carry of the night. Good to see him get some action. Second and eight from the 42-yard line. Mainland can sense the mini celebration coming. Five minutes away from a sectional final appearance. DeSalle goes to the shotgun. Hand off, and now we have whistles. Connor Callen's carry is going to be wiped off here, and I'll tell you what, there has to be some, there is a flag down actually on the far side of the field. And you saw Callen just back up, his hands were up. You got to think there was some more jawing or something going on down there. The post-game handshake line is certainly going to be interesting. So the penalty was on Colt's neck. So he was offside. So it'd be second and short as DeSalle will give it off. Not much. That was Brady Callen on the carry. It's going to lose maybe a yard. So it'll be third and four. Third and four from the 45-yard line. Mainland, of course, just bleeding the clock here. And getting ready to go back into the post-game locker room with a berth in the South Jersey Group 4 sectional finals. Got to give a tip of the cap to Colts next for their, for their successful season this year as well. Getting that first-round playoff win as DeSalle will give it off. It'll be fourth down coming up. That was Carfagno again, just shy of the marker. Fourth and one. Offense staying out there for the Mustangs, trying to convert. Sal goes under center on this fourth and one play. Hand off Carfagno up the middle. He's got the first down. Good run by the senior back. Good to see him get some action. Fresh set of downs for the Mustangs. 240 and counting the play. Mainland taking their time. Got to think they're just going to sit on the football here and run it. Let's go, let's go, let's go. 
First and 10 from the 47-yard line. DeSalle goes to the shotgun this time. Handoff on first down, getting across the line of scrimmage. Not much, but forward progress gets Connor Callen forward. Be second down after the gain of two. Waning stages this one. Mainland in all likelihood heading out to Millville next Friday night for the sectional championship and a chance to keep playing for a group four state title. Second and eight as DeSalle sends a man in motion, a good handoff here for Connor Callen getting forward, and he's going to get a first down. So you got to like that positive gain. Minute to go, so in all likelihood, maybe one more play here for Mainland, and then they'll line it up. What an effort from the Mustangs this evening. Jamie Tyson, three total touchdowns, a pick six, and two touchdown receptions. Nicely thrown by John Franchini. Carfagno gets the call, met at the line of scrimmage. And that will in all likelihood be the final play of the ball game. Cohen Cook had two touchdowns as well. Rocco DiBiaso got things going with a 63-yard touchdown to open things up. And, of course, Stephen Ordilly scored his 21st of the season as well. They'll head to the 50 for the post-game handshake, as that will do it. Mainland wins this one 49-7, and they're heading back to the sectional finals. This time they'll play for a South Jersey Group 4 title here in 2023. Mustangs looking for their second straight sectional title next week. All likelihood will take on Millville at Wheaton Field, but if that was the last home game of the year here at the Mustang Corral, it's been an absolute dominant season for the mainland Mustangs, who now improved to 11-0 for only the third time in school history. So they'll be remembering this team for a long time. Already won their division, looking for that sectional title. Maybe even a state championship. Three more wins for the Mustangs, and they can lay claim to the state's best group four school. But first things first, a sectional title date with Millville or Shawnee next week. But what a ride it's been for the mainland Mustangs. 49-7 to over Colts Neck. Celebration does begin here in Linwood. Post game handshake is done. Mainland will circle up. They call that a cool down, but you know, a couple more jumping jacks won't hurt. What a night. Quick recap for you on the scoring. Rocco DiBiasso opened things up with a 63-yard touchdown run in the first quarter, and that was followed up by the 80-yard pick six by Jamie Tyson to make it 14-0. Once Mainland forced another punt, Cohen Cook punched it in for a touchdown. Colts then got back into it, though. Curtis of a nice drive capped off by Chris Scully for his Touchdown. That was Scully's 25th of the season for Colts Neck, the all time leading rusher in school history. But after that, it was all mainland once again. Jamie Tyson scored the next two touchdowns on passes from John Franchini to end the half. And then in that third quarter, Stephen Ordilia, 62 yard touchdown run. Cohen Cook in the fourth quarter from 21 yards out finished it up to make it 49 to 7. 
And that will officially do it as Mainland claps it up, celebrates. They'll be headed to the South Jersey Group 4 sectional finals next week. They'll await the winner of Millville and Shawnee for a chance to win a second straight crown for the team in Linwood. That'll do it for us. Big thanks to Matt Ulmer and Bill Shalcross for filming and producing tonight's broadcast. I am Nick Costco saying so long once again. Mainland wins this one 49-7. They'll head to the South Jersey Group 4 sectional finals. We'll be watching high school football right here on Cape Atlantic Live.